Looks good to me. I love the Celestis, man. Let's see if it goes Celestis or Ganju on three. Okay. Eh, we're pretty far away from that. Yeah, we can probably drop you early. That's fine. Duress. All right, what are you going to take? Maybe Celestis or Ganjo. If they have a sensitive creature or Planeswalker, maybe the march goes down. Artifact, creature, and jamming, not a Planeswalker. Okay. They want to protect their card, sure. Let's open up blue for a little mending action. Tap land, sure. Harvester, sure. All right, we'll go ahead and do this now. A lot of land, man. Let's drop off those bad boys. Wow, okay. A lot of land. Hmm. Oh, man. A ganja with Celestis. I think we need the Celestis uh, flipping back and forth. We got a lot of land here. We're going to regret that? This doesn't make a blocker for several more turns. Let's drop the Celestis. See if we can flip it a little bit. Take three, down to 19. All right, nice. Needed that flip. Feels good. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> okay, more land. Deck is hard pressed for land here. I think we just start dropping the ganjas. Only two planes left in the deck. So here's one of them. Don't have enough mana for the second ganjo. Other option is to hold up Faithful Mending there. Um, I think I'd rather get one of these going. Also will allow us to top deck any of our big threats. We could just drop it without Invoke Justice at this point. Burn down the house. Okay, here comes the pressure. Doom's would be great. Ooh, okay. Um, yeah, we can drop you off. Have you come in? I guess we're good on blue. We just take more white. Interesting, they can just get rid of the shield counters pretty easily with this. Do we take the draw? I guess we do. We like the draw, we like the blocker. Gotta stabilize a little bit. Totally fine if they kill it, we have Invoke Justice ready to go. So our only goal here is to stabilize. Stabilize, draw some cards. We got the Aganja flipping next turn. We're not in a bad position. Again, we're okay if this dies. Um, I think we're just trading for now. That means we don't get the draw, but we can invoke justice next turn. I think we're just trading here. I think if we live long enough, we'll win. Down to 12. Let's see where they point that damage. I suppose just face. Yep, down to 11. Other option is if they got another blood token, they could. I guess they need two more blood tokens to minus there. Here comes the Fable, okay. Nothing really good to Justice at this point. I think we have Ganjo and Deluge. One plane's left, I think. Hopefully. One left, okay. We might drop that to Mending. We'd rather Mending or Deluge. I guess Deluge is pretty dang good. Okay. Let's do it like this. I don't think we're in any rush to attack here. Let me go no attacks. We don't want to get to a point where, um... You know, they pick off this car, they get in for 4 damage, they get in for high, and then we're like at a really low life total and have too much pressure on our back. If they hit land, 
They could go a minus five Medic Massacre and have Jawari open. Okay. Do it like this, see what they have here. Not surprised at all if Warden goes down. Honestly, I would like for Warden to go down, so we can just get it back with a Justice, uh, Invoke Justice and draw some more cards. Yep, it's fine. Okay, minus seven Massacre or not? Whoa. Tapped out though, right? No, they have the treasure, damn. Oh God, that is bad. Okay, is there any way to get out of it? We do not have an answer for this. Wow, 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 wow. Enchantment. We have to kill an enchantment now. Ooh. That'll do it. Wow. Okay. Whew. That was scary. <laughs> Alright, I think we're turning the corner now. Voltage surge you. That's fine. Okay, let's start with the march. Damn, okay. I guess, uh, at random. Let's see what they get. They got burned down the house? Really? Wow. What a, what a sequence there. They do that instead, though. Okay. Yep, that's fine. So you have to spend seven mana to kill this thing right now. Sure, take this action. Drop off Chawari, I think. Do we have anyone down here to get back? Just to land? Drop off Faithful Men and get in their land. I think that's an okay trade. How much mana do we have? Three, six, seven this turn. So only enough exactly for March. So we're not doing anything else anyway. So sure, we can take a little ramp here. Okay, let's attack first. Look at this arcane bombardment go, man. Okay, that kills it. Triple block. That's great. Wow. All right, we'll knock all those guys out. Um, still think arcane bombardment is our target. We actually could save it. Um, oh, they only have this and duress down there, though. We can actually flash on the Emperor, put a counter on. That's pretty interesting. Is that a better line to play? That means next turn at randomly either get duress or uh, voltage surge. Nah, I don't think it matters. I think if we kill off. Um, their arcane bombardment, they don't have, they can't win from there. So, that's fine. Let it all go. Yeah, we'll just do this now, I think. Okay. Here comes the hive. It's a lot of damage. We do have to stabilize quickly yet again. Four damage this turn. We have plenty of faithful menings to gain life as needed. This thing is menace though. It's actually getting a little closer than I'd like. We have Wandering Emperor. This might be a Invoke Justice plus Wandering Emperor turn. Sure. Yep, we drop off this right now. Okay. Got a blocker. Feeling good. Justice get back um the Warden, four mana open. Let's at least put one here. Maybe two. We do it like that. I think that's fine. 
Doom Scar. Interesting. Okay. End tier. All right. I think we got this game locked away. I think <laughs> it's a little premature to say that. I guess we might have to deal with more of these um, arcane bombardments. And we only have two marches in the deck. All right, we're not out of this yet. We're in a very strong position, though. We don't have anything for Big Mato Masker. Though they may not run it if it's not an instant or sorcery to pair with their big card. I'm going to copy you, sure. That's a good key, That's a good uh, Wandering Emperor attack. It's fine. Get a free token back. Okay. Alright, they're not going to like this. Let's play the Celestis. Okay. Sure. Put the end step. I just want to make sure we get this thing exiled. All right, turn the corner, boys. We got this. this is what you get for hurting my people. We might leave a little bit in the tank um, against the Doomscar. Or, sorry, against the Meat of Massacre. Three, six, seven, eight. They have a lot of mana. I think it's with the board here. We'll hold Jorari. I don't think we need Doomscar at this point. That's big. There we go. Okay. Let's get in there. Show them how we greet our enemies. Yeah, this game's wrapped up. I think we got it here. It's fine. Okay. Let's wrap it up, boys. We got the horror coming in. Clean up with the horror. Nine mana. So we can do horror plus Chawari to counter anything. Sure. It's over, baby. It's over. Take whatever they want. Got victory on the crackback. I don't even know if we block this. I do not think we care. No blocks. Take it all, baby. We'll drop horror plus Jawari end of turn, and that'll be that. Down to eight. Okay. End it. All right, we got there, boys. Damn, that was sweet. Good battle. Very fun. Man, I think we can keep this just because of Doomscar. Gotta hit the third land drop, but let me foretell Doomscar on two. Okay, well, I guess we'll start here. It's gotta come intact. We do hit the third land. Interesting. Do we need to foretell Doomscar against them? Not necessarily. Are they going to have a creature on turn three? They could have the... Uh... Let's just do it like this. I don't think we need Doomscar. Okay. That'll be okay. So I'm thinking most likely scenario is turn three, um, Kiki Jiki. We'll see what happens here. Yep, turn three Kiki Jiki. That's okay. We we'll still have a turn to deal with it. Faithful Absence immediately. Drop Amiria's Coal. I think that's fine. Let's not give him um, an opportunity to respond or that free treasure. Income intact. This will be an interesting game. There's only more land. Next turn. 
Whew. Hoping we hit land. I guess maybe drop a professor, get sciences. Voltage surge, okay. Green as well. Probably just need sciences here. Stuck on land. I need 26 lands in this deck. Okay, they take their draw now. Let's see if we got a gold span this turn. Do nothing. Yep, gotta hit our land drop. No question about that. We don't have double blue currently, but we don't need it for a little while. I think we're gonna continue to get planes here. No attacks. Opponent does nothing again. Whew. So they're teamer. So they want to drop the seven drop green guy, I guess. Nice. More land is beautiful. Okay. This turn will drop an emperor on them. Probably attack here, I guess. See if we can catch an emperor to exile Kiki Jiki on the way back. All right, the race has started. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good exile target. They'll probably pick it off with like Voltage Surge or something, but we do want to get rid of Kiki Jiki. Interesting, one mana counter spell, okay, fine. Could march it. I mean, this is gonna, not going to be as good against their biggest threats list. We want to march this thing away. Um, we can attack first. We can also run out our first invoke justice. We might have a lot of counter spells though, given that they haven't done much this whole game. Let's end here. Let's uh, march on their turn. Try to get rid of Kiki Jiki for I think X equals three. Yeah, I think it's X equals three here. Okay, let's see if we get another spell pierce out of them. I'd rather them counter this than counter our Emperor. Okay, let it go. Mending is really good. We can go ahead and do it now to hit land this turn. I think that's fine with me. Don't think it changes our attack here. What's their worst nightmare? Jinkataxis is pretty bad. I can't really deal with that or the horror, I think. We're also closer to dropping the warden in general. We do this now, try to hit land this turn. Okay, we do. I think we can drop you and Jin. Okay, end here. So they know invoke justice coming this coming turn. We don't have enough to pay for spell pierce yet. Not sure what else they're running. Only that one green. Okay, they want to power up you. Do we care? We can run in the Emperor to their counter spell. That's fine. Um, we'd rather them counter the Emperor than our Invoke Justice this coming turn. Okay, let's see another counter spell. Good, okay. Do we play around um, Spell Pierce? Probably, probably need to. That means we uh, bolt you in, I think, just to pay for Spell Pierce. This controller pays two. Hmm. I think, I think we get, get Jin Gitaxius here. I 
think would just make you pretty beefy. In case I just try to use multiple um, voltage surges. Scoop! <laughs> Sweet! That's why Jin's in the deck, baby. Counter those spells. Very nice. Okay. Looks okay. Can at least foretell Doomscar early. Alright. Yeah, seems like a pretty good hand against them. Royal Eruption to the face. Interesting. No creatures. Um, yeah, you can probably play this. You think they have a three drop though, right? That's okay. Jin Kataxius, ready to go. Not a not the right matchup for this guy. Storm Seeker, okay. Down to fourteen. Drop you. Enter. Put the night side, yeah. See what they drop. I think we probably have to uh, kill this guy. So if they don't have a indestructible valorous stance here, they don't. Okay. Take the clue token. Yeah, they definitely have an awkward hand. Royal eruption on two. See if we can use that to our advantage. This turn we either got the emperor or deluge coming. Another royal eruption. Ah, getting us low. Okay. Play this untapped. Hold open to Luge and Emperor. What you got, Boros? The Storm Seeker, sure. Let it attack, flash in the Emperor. Okay. I'll target tap creature. See if they have some removal for poor Wandering Emperor. They do. That's okay. Okay. Yep, drop you. A little bit of life actually does matter. Probably deluge this turn. But uh, we could also Faithful Mending. Rise you. Okay. We could look for removal here. If we just top deck a if we just memory deluge a land though, then we just drop the warden normally. So I think that's what we do instead. I think we take this. So we need untapped land. Uh, all right, we got it there. Plus another warden's pretty hard to beat, I'd say. Okay, 5-5 five, five shield counter. Um, yeah. Actually, we don't even need to draw, right? 1-1 one, one cat token's nice, though. That's fine. Mirror's call on the way. Feeling good. We just have to stall at this point. We survive with numerous wardens. Uh, they cannot get there. What's the play? Sure. Take you out. Uh, go ahead and trade here. Take two. Yeah, I think so. Just run it back next turn. Six. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we just drop another one of these guys. Sure. Yeah, this game is done. Um, nah, that's okay. Doing just fine. Keep that shield counter in case we need it. One more land. Critical far. Okay. On the night side though, it's nice for us. Invoke justice. Not relevant right now. Let's just drop a Miri's call, right? Like. I guess if we're not going to block, we can take our draw. When it drops down to five, we have four blockers. Can they get us from eight here? 
I don't really think so. Yeah. Whew. Nice. Felt good. Organic Warden. Yeah, we can keep this. Need one more land, but then a Gonjo gets us the rest of the way. Okay. Tranquil Cove. Sweet. I think we'll get this down now. Try to hit a Gonjo next turn. See if they have a two drop ready for us. They do. Okay. I think we're still going to Ganja, though. We'll kill, we'll kill the Aspire next turn. Okay. Planes acquired. Another Aspirant. Okay. That's not super scary. Nothing hasty. We're going to take three or four damage this turn, but not the end of the world. Four damage. Okay. Down to 18. Tranquil Cove paying off. Interesting. Um, yeah, we can discard you, have you come untapped. That's fine. I do think... I'm play you out normally. This is probably a Faithful Absence turn. Um, I don't think they play Valorous Stance. We'll do another Aganjo next turn. Nothing in the graveyard for Invoke Justice yet. Gotta make some progress on that front. Fourth land. Is it a Raiju? Okay, that's fine. Take our first one here. Might use the second one also. Goes down. Yeah, I think this is fine. All right, we got to draw something, uh, something juicy soon. A Ganjo is is annoying on it by itself for them. They're gonna need some beef. Oh yeah, take a turn off to draw. Sweet. Okay, so we've got some time to set up here. Let's see if they can deal with a three four. By itself, it's a uh, Doom Squire. Nice. That gives us plenty of time to set up now. Drop another Ganjo. I think we'll foretell Doom Squire here, even though it gives it away a little bit. Sure. Okay, we can go back to back removal here. Pick off a Ganjo, or the architect rather. Fifth land reveals a mountain. Sure, Cav comes in. Do they want to attack into the architect and try to kill it? Oh, they don't. Wow, that's sweet. Do you want Professor for free? Six mana. What does that let us cast this turn? We really want teachings, I think. Teachings for free. We could get something off of that. I think that's good with me. Sure. Let's do it this way. Alright, let's draw. More lands. Okay. Well, that's not really what I wanted to see. We attack with the architect, get another one next turn. I think that's fine. They could block and, um, you know, use play with fire or something, but I think they would have attacked and used play with fire last turn. Oh, yeah, that's sweet right there. That's good. We're making 1-1 one, one tokens every turn. With our 3-4 Vigilance, got another one coming up. That's going to be tough for them to work through. They scoop. Okay, we didn't even get to do the thing, and that's they can't handle any more than that. Okay. Okay, we'll give this a go. Have the mending, don't have the things to discourage yet. Jund. Okay. I think we want a mending this turn. What do we have against? Underdog. Okay. It's a good card. Very good card. I 
Okay, well, turn three Celestis isn't bad. Turn four Emperor is pretty good. Tombscar plays well as in addition. Let's do it like this and drop off uh, maybe a Ganjo. Okay. White, Celestis. Next turn, Flash and Emperor. Exile the underdog. It's going to feel good. And keep moving from there. This life game is nice. I miss playing some kind of Azorius control with a little bit of life gain built in. It does matter in blunting these more aggressive decks. Not this is particularly aggressive, but the 3 2 underdog can put in work. Tap land, okay. Valky. Well, no creatures in hand. They do see the Emperor plan, so they know that's coming. How can we play around that? I guess if they don't attack, we can just flashback Faithful Mending anyway. I see the Doomscar, though. Okay. Yep, I think our plan is to drop the Emperor this turn. See how they want to deal with that. If they kill it, we invoke Justice the next turn. If they do nothing, we could Faithful Mending if we really wanted to play around some kind of removal. Yeah, let's do it. Um, we can probably drop you off. Keep the land over another mending. So what are we worried about in this deck? Maybe some Infernal Grasp. I don't know if there's green. So now they ask, do they want to run into the Emperor? Looks like they do. They pick it off, we invoke Justice next turn. Anyone who harms my people must contend with me. Stick by the opponent, maybe a little voltage surge action. Respond to instant speed. Exile the underdog. This is what you get Sacrifice you. That's fine. Bring it back with evoke justice. Chawari. Okay. Leaves it open to the den. Is there any way not to be open to the den? Not really. We can just do it like this. Next turn, probably Faithful Mending away the um, Jawari. Finally seeing more green from the opponent. Yep, power up hive. Emperor goes down, that's fine. This turn, we're probably Mending away Jawari. I haven't yet needed a Doomscar in this matchup. I think we'll hold it for a little while. Mirror's Call. That's pretty good. That actually means we're only one turn away from that. To be mending away the Doomscar. We might. What is their end game though? Fable, okay. Harvester. Into Doomscar. Okay. Hmm. We just Doomscar this all the way. For cheap. Let's take one draw here. See what we can get. We like both our current cards a little bit better. I mean, they know we have Doomscar. 
Maybe Doom's Car first, Nymeria is cool. Sure, take a draw. Don't need that. Yeah, this is fine. Sure, drop a professor. Probably get mascot at this stage. Mascot plus Amiria's Cole. Certainly plenty of win cons in hand. Bonus down to two cards. So we're thinking about Meat Hook Maskers that can nab us at this point. There's a good chance there's one in hand. Here comes the Hive. Okay. That's fine. We're doing quite well on life. I think at least one of these cards is a Meat Hook Masker. Don't need land at this stage of the game. It's not compared to our other options. Another Celestis. Definitely don't need that. Okay. Alright, let's see that first wave of Meat Hook Masker. Pony could definitely have multiple. Here comes Kiki Jiki. They at least have to pick off their own Kiki Jiki with Masker if they want to do it that way. Yep, here it comes. Okay. It's a grind, but we have the Celestis. We're going to keep filtering through lands. Half the cards they draw are going to be lands. Whew, that's nice. Okay. Let's see how many Maskers they have. They're going to need all of them. If they're deploying both of these, that means they don't have another Masker. I think that's definitely possible. Yep, take action here. We also have Hall of the Storm Giants. I guess we'll drop the Celeste. Do they have any artifact removal? Maybe not. We don't need either of these cards. I guess we'll drop the planes. I don't know, in case we need backup Celestis. is good as well. Agonjo plays around Doomscar. Diversifies our threats a little bit. I think we just drop another Mirrorous Call, though. Makes their blocks a lot more awkward. Kind of hope they don't top deck the next Meat Hook Massacre. Again, I don't think they have it. Um, I think they would have used it last turn if they had it. So I think they have to top deck it here, which would hurt. Here they go, digging for Massacre. Not a Massacre. Not a Massacre. All right, now we know what green's for. We have Chariot in here. Maybe a Ren as well. They scoop. Okay, sure. I'll take the win. A little anticlimactic, but I think we'll end there, boys. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment for the algorithm. I am Dr. Ruckus, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.